Check, check. Welcome to Deck Check, the first and only unscripted, unsupervised, unhinged 10 minute testing rip off. And today we're going to be coping. So I'm actually very interested in the Magic Spectre support from Phantom Nightmare. I think the deck got a lot of tools that let it compete in a modern sense in a way that it couldn't before. New Way is just extremely strong. It's just completely changed the direction in which the deck operates. Now just making him pretty much represents the full end board on its own. Unfortunately, it is really fragile to like droll and somehow imperm because they made Magic Spectres that can be targeted. Those fucking bastards. I still think the deck can see some amount of rogue success. It's just going to take a little tinkering with the list and this is where I'm at so far. It's probably bad, but I don't know, man. This is deck check. Go, go, go! Ask Joshua Schmidt how to build it. We're going first. That's that's all. That's always <laughs> that. That's rule number one of Magic Specter: is go first or you lose. Um, this hand could be better. So we can make new way with these two, but the problem is that. Hmm. The problem then becomes it's two low scales. I'm out of here. So we have to use this wind, I think. Watch them ash this and then we just get to tactics. We are going to use wind. What are they going to do? See, now if they ash this, we have to use the called by. All right. Yeah. Way to play around Droll here is we should summon Yada, but then don't use the effect because we don't need it. Um, do we need to do that? If we get Drolled here, then we then we don't care because then we'll just have the yeah. I'm like counting the amount of interruptions we can get to in my head. Do they have, they're on the troll. Let's see what they do have. Let's take a quick peek. They got imperm. Glad I glad I caught that. Now the problem is that they are on labyrinth. Pegasus, because I don't think they're going to use any spells. So let's just get... QB. These two. Pendulum Summon. No, they don't have the ash, but we're gonna play around it anyway. Set. See, these are both interactions for monsters, so it's gonna be a little difficult, but we can do this. Add tempest. Yeah, this is only this only pops monsters too, so. 
a little annoying, but we can get through it. Search. Hmm. This deck is a bad matchup against Lab. I mean, I guess. I don't think we're, like, in a bad position, though. We just don't have, like, interaction that stops their back row. Let's just add Bunboku. What's with you and all the questions? Simply no. I'm gonna start calling you Curious George. Alright, set one. Set three, the last card in hand is the, the lady, not lady, uh, lovely. Ending the main phase, you can use wind. Yeah, let's go for Bunboku. One Bunbuku. I should have used Chain Link one Draco. We can summon Droll from deck, but we don't have anything to do with that, so. Where's, um, there you are. I'm gonna search Pegasus, because in hand she can make Draco untargetable. Slayers can't. So it doesn't actually work on Ryu. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought it would. <laughs> We're gonna go Wind. No Tribute, just to Reborn the new way. Exceed. Exceed can. can add Yamarashi back to hand. Seed. Summon back Ogama. Ogama. Set wind from deck. We can make Lightning Chidori. Fuck with their back row. Let's see what they do. Lightning Chidori, crazy card, just held back by the fact that wind monsters don't exist.
There's Black Goat. What are we calling? Probably access code, right? They probably recognize that, like, that's probably the biggest threat here. Access code talker. Pendulum summon. Buku. How they not made a better rank four for wins than Chidori in 11 years? So that's the things they haven't needed to because there's no good wins. <laughs> And I think we're actually going to get Pegasus. Because I, I still... I don't I don't think they're on any spells. I just... I'm not convinced. Um, I guess we'll get Yada. Fun fact. Unicorn was the first wind monster ever printed. That's true. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make Baguska. We will go into battle. They're going to use the welcome. Wherever they summon from deck. If they summon lady, that's an issue. Majesty. Activate Draco. Summon. I don't fight. I can care. Roll. Go, Little Knight. Little Knight. Banish the set card. Chain it. Imperm. We'll pretend that we care. Pretty good for us, yeah. Some 
back the Bunfuku. Grab Amarashi. They'll probably get over the Exceed. Maybe the SP. I'm trying to conserve the traps so that I don't end up wasting both of them outing the lady. Access code, gain 2k, no response, sounds good to me, banish wind, pop the back row, cool, banish dark, pop the monster, alright. Alright, so that was an annoying game, but well, we made it out, because I think they also kind of didn't open very well. I don't know why they didn't use the um, the black goat in the graveyard. At a certain point there, that's another weird part of this deck, is you can make Zeus, but like, look at how much shit we had on board. Zeusing there would feel awful. they didn't read Black Goat properly, it would have been, it would have been literally giving them the prompt in the graveyard, do you want to use this card? Shit, we lose. As always, if you go second in Yu-Gi-Oh, you lose the game. This is known, everyone knows this. Uh, is pre, pre prep couldn't possibly be the right Ash anymore, is it? I think we gotta. We gotta, it's just too much. Ah, cross. Ah, cross. Alright, let's watch it not be voiceless voice. So it was the choke. Okay, it wasn't the choke point. It was a card they didn't want getting negated. Um, and yeah, if we just veil her here, if they had low in hand, if they had low in hand, oh my fuck, they just got everything. They've got everything except low in hand, apparently. And we're powerless to stop them from getting it.
Well, now we do lose. Yeah, see, like, I know, I know, like, generally, like, you're supposed to imperm low, uh, you ash, you ash Sephira, but the thing is, like, the, the way that they did it was, like, a kind of non-standard line, it was sort of like a, a combo that required more than, like, it wasn't just, like, your standard one-card voiceless voice combo, so I was kind of trying to, like, pick apart what we could stop that would, that would, that might not be normally correct, but might be correct based on what's just in their hand, you know? And now they have the, the spell negate. You know you can't summon this with Cerebus. The Sagely Cerebus specifically. I never noticed that. Yeah, it says must either be Ritual Summoned or Pendulum Summoned. Is that card normal in BV? It is a Light Dragon Ritual, so yeah. It's a Light Dragon Ritual that does something. There is one of those. <laughs> oh, now, now you show up, you fucking bastard. Um, we have legitimately one second to activate this card. This is just going to get negated by Pendulum Graph. Yeah. And now we just lose. They're actually playing a target for it. So this is the thing that, like... This is the reason that, like, normally... Pendulum Graph isn't so bad is because you don't have to play a target for it in the extra deck. But this gentleman has elected to just do so anyway. Alright. I uh, don't see any way we get out of this. Alright. Let's go. Fuck. Let's go. Shit. Let's go. Fuck. Okay, we lose. Guys, we're gonna lose. Okay, we drew two hand traps, but we drew the like this brick that half mis convinced me to play. Oh god. Oh god. Don't do it. Okay. Whew. Okay, we drew both. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we have to, we have to call that. So we actually have three brick. You cannot imagine them. If, if you think we're only on three bricks, you just, you, like, you're, you really don't know how bad, how, <laughs> you, you have no idea, you have no idea how bad things truly are. Stop ending sentences with a question. You actually didn't leave, you didn't put the question mark in. Stop asking questions. Just observe things silently. Fuck! Bro is actually anime commentating. Why would he summon such a weak card? Of course. It searches another Magispector monster. Yeah, and there's the Emperor. Oh well. Ugh. I mean, what did you want me to do? They had Imperm. Ah! Well, 
Why would Jaxel get impermed? Is he stupid? That's a good that's a good question. Finally. Real real discourse. Not this woke crap. <laughs> okay, man, it's it wasn't gonna activate any effects anyway. It it, it doesn't really do anything. Um let's just get him before he gets us. Ah, they have the rescue. They always have the rescue. I think they shouldn't have the rescue next time. You think they make like SP? This board isn't, like, that bad, because they have, like, Impulse. Like, Impulse can tag into, um, Preventer. But Preventer can't target our stuff, so... Not that big of a deal. Ah! Okay, maybe we have one more turn. Maybe we have one more... I mean, maybe we have one more turn is the thing. I mean, we probably have one more turn. That's the thing, though. Can you stop using Impulse? It's pissing me off. If I click my if I click the cards more, they'll do something different. All right, we got Bumbuku. That's like the best draw possible. I'm going to tag into Preventer probably. Tagging the Hydrant. Okay. Let's go... Yamarashi, reset the Cyclone. If that's imperm, then we just lose. But I'm more or less past the point of caring. Oh wait, we actually can't do this because Beyond the Pendulum pays 1200 fuck! You know what time it is. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh fuck. Okay, they're gonna... Wait. It wasn't same attribute, different types. It was same type, different attributes. So they were- it let the- it let them fuse their own monsters. <laughs> oh, we're counting that as a W. Yeah, really not impressed. Uh, deck struggles going second, even going first, its setup is really just not very- not very- wide in what it can cover, just that the, the, the one Labyrinth matchup, even though we somehow came out on top, it felt like we never really had much game at all against them. All the interactions we could set up, just they they just could shrug off. It was like meaningless. Everything else we played against, it was like our consistency was off. Uh, 
nothing was really gelling together. It, 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 all these cards seem so good on paper, but it's just missing that oomph, that push that really makes it anything. I think part of that push is going to be uh, a way to stop playing 30 one-ofs. How many one-ofs are we actually on? We're on nine one-ofs. We're on nine one-ofs. This is just utopia! Mm -hmm. Why does this keep happening to me? Well, that was deck check. Join us next time when we cover... I don't fucking know, Utopia, but level three is this time, I don't know. Just get the fuck out of here.